Hey everybody, it's Rhiannon. Welcome back to Mama Marie Plans, or welcome if you are new here. So today, the day has finally come. We are going to set up my A5 Daily Duo. Let's get started. Do I have everything with me? Yes, I do. Okay. I had a freak out because I couldn't find these, but I found them. So here I have multicolored square sticker pack from Erin Condren. This is the colorful and metallic sticker sheets. And then I also have the beautiful name stickers from Smithy, Simply Smith Stickers. And then I also have an assorted amount of different washies. I literally just pulled some randomness. So um, we're just gonna use some of these washi strips to fill out the rest of my pages. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, obviously you open it up and there's this beautiful vellum here. So pretty, so, so pretty. And then you get to the name page and now here is the final decision. So we ended up with three votes for number three, four votes for number four and four votes for number five. So I guess it's up to me to decide between these two, which one I like better. And when I put them in my planner like this, I love the little heart there, but I wish the heart was on this one. So I'm almost, I think I'm gonna use this one which is number five. So if you voted for number five, that was the winner. My favorite one, you guys didn't even vote for, which was this one. That's the one I thought I was gonna use, but we took a poll. So you know what? I think I wanna put a washi in it behind here to like make it pretty. Let's see. Will my name fit on here or is it too large? Uh, it's a little bit too big. Hmm. But I feel like we can make it work. I don't know, that just looks so pretty. And I don't think I've ever seen really anybody do that, so. We're just using a piece of washi from the right place here. And I think I'm just gonna take my scissors, honestly, instead of trying to cut it off with the washi cutter. And I'm just gonna trim this side here and this side here, so it fits better. And then we are gonna put this right here in the middle. Look how cute that is. Okay, I love that. I love that, I'm glad I did that washi behind there. That's super cute. And then we have all these beautiful stickers for next time. That is so cute, I love that. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited for that. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on, Rhiannon. Okay, so now we have some days off and paydays, and that's what I'm gonna put here. So let's do a little key first, and I think I'm gonna use, really I just like these bright colors, so I think we're gonna use them. Although these pastel ones are very beautiful as well. But let's just make our planner beautiful and colorful and all that fun stuff. So let's see here, and I'm thinking I want to use a pink for something. I'm just going to put a couple spaces down, and then this will be my key. And then I definitely want to use this teal color because this is gorgeous. So the things that we're going to be tracking are my days off from my company the days off for the kids and my paydays. So my paydays are actually gonna be using, I'm gonna be using these, I think, instead of, um, I don't know. I don't know yet, we'll see. And then I also wanna do days off at of school, or no, I'm sorry, um, first day and last day. And then also paydays. So I guess let's do paydays on, we'll do paydays with this like beautiful blue color here. That way I have a nice variety. That is beautiful. Okay, let's get started. So for July through December, and then this also does come into 2024 as well on the other side. 
So for July through December, let's see here. Oh wait, I guess I need to put in what these things are down here, don't I? Okay, so these are no school days. Oh, oh my pen. Don't do this to me, pen, this is permanent. Okay, we're not gonna use that pen, apparently. I guess we're gonna use the Sharpie, or the Sarasa Dry. Okay, I gotta wipe this out. There we go. Let's start over, friends. No school days. And then I'm also gonna do this yellow here. And put this here. And then I'm gonna put contingent snow days because we have a couple that are like contingent on snow days since we live in a place that has snow. So let's see here, let's just get started. Oh, I forgot, to, I gotta put the rest of these in. Okay, what did I say? Um, Abby closed and paydays. I oh, know paydays is gonna be this one. What was the last one, friends? Oh, first day and last day. And this is not perfect, obviously, you know, it's a planner and we love it. And then I'm gonna put purple in here and I'm also gonna put, um, this is a new addition I'm adding. I'm gonna put um, dance events as well. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna speed through this part and put in the no school days. These are gonna take up a lot of space because these, these are not necessarily formatted for the A5 in my opinion, but that's all right. They just take up a lot of space here, these, these big huge stickers. They really should make an A5 size one. So these ones I'm gonna overlap. So anyway, that's my process. I will be right back. Now I ran into the contingent snow days, so that's gonna be this greeny color here. So that's Feb 19. And also April 26. There we go, okay. Now let's finish off the rest of these days. And then the first and the last day of school. Let's put those in. So that's gonna be this like orangey color. So the first day of school is September 5th. We do not start until after Labor Day, guys. And then the last day contingent on snow days is June, June 11th. Okay, there we go. And um, then payday, oh no, my day's off. I three and four, which have already passed, but I'm gonna put them in there anyway since we're doing this planner. You know, I might as well do the setup the right way. Okay. And then I actually don't have the dates for 2024 for my for my work closed. So we did that one, that one, that one, paydays. Let's do those really quick. And I'm gonna definitely speed through this part because this part is gonna be a little tedious. I'm not gonna put in the paydays for January because I, who knows, they might change things, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna put in through the rest of 2023. Um, and then 
We have some dance competition days, so I want to definitely put those in because those like hinder change things. So we have a workshop thing. What days are these? 14 and 15. Okay, and then the rest of them come in this new year. So there's like a showcase this day. And we have our first competition. I'm just gonna use do that and cover up those there. This is definitely a busier dance schedule than we have been used to, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We have more competitions and stuff than we have had in the past. So, this will be interesting. Lots of dance days here. Holy smokers. And then the Nationals is over July 4th weekend. There we go. Okay, so that's all the dance stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just cross off these here. And then also cross off this because these are pages that we did, except I need to do this still. Let's just do that now. <clears throat> so at the back of every book, there's stickers in your book. And I have not tear torn these out yet, but I definitely need to do that. Save a little room in my planner. So let's do that. I hardly ever use these stickers. I don't know, they just don't do it for me. Okay, now let's go back to the front because I know there was something else that I wanted to do there in the front. So here I wanna put, um, this is my morning routine. And then I wanna put daily and weekly tasks, which I got the idea from Planning Annie. So thank you, Planning Annie, for that inspiration. Okay, now I think I'm gonna put in a washi and I, this pink one is just, sitting right here so let's just do that pink one and look at that perfect okay so and then I will just write in here daily and weekly tasks and again this is my planner it doesn't need to be perfect for me but um, let's see what were those things that I had on my daily checklist and I kind of want to use some of these because I want it to look very you know pretty and beautiful and I'm thinking I don't know this color pull that out really quick make it a little bit easier on us okay so the daily tasks basically were, these are just like general things that I had that I wanted to, um, you know, be able to reference every day. Um, having ADD guys is sometimes a struggle and there are things that you might forget to do that you might want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, nine. Okay. That's a lot. Got a little excited here, apparently. And these are not in any specific order. These are just random things that I kind of want to like come back and look at this every day and just say, oh, did I do these things? Do I need to do them today, etc." So um, charge phone, because I don't like charging it at night because I feel like it's not good for the battery to like be sitting plugged in overnight. Um, check the mail. I know that seems silly, but hey, this is things for me, not for anybody else weather movement gratitude I don't know that's also down here too but and so is meds and vitamins but these are just ones that I wanted to add on here 
charge phone, check the mail, weather, movement, gratitude, laundry, mood, meds and vitamins. Did I put too many? In? Oh, skincare. There we go. Okay, and then we'll come over here and do the weekly tasks. And I think I'm going to use this, like, light color right here that just looks so pretty oh no and i just thought of an eighth one i'm gonna put that on there right now so i don't forget and who knows maybe throughout this process i will think of more things and then i can just add them to this list but for now Trying to have a very organized life is what my I am all about right now. And if this helps me, then I will be so excited. Now it's just a matter of going back and making sure I check this every day. That's going to be the hardest part. It's going to take some time, obviously, to like get into the habit of it. But I think once I get into the habit of it, I think it'll be good. Okay, so let's put in the weekly tasks. So we have way in... garbage slash recycle clear photos on my phone water plants inbox zero and respond to comments clean garbage disposal And then there was something else that I just thought of while I was doing this and I should have written it down right away and I forgot. It's all right. Maybe it'll come back to me. Okay. And then here we have the morning and evening routines. So I'm not even going to write anything there, but there we go. And then I'm going to get rid of this. All right, and then we go right into the daily pages. So then we're gonna go all the way to the back of the planner and we have a few pages here that we're gonna set up. And then guys, we are gonna be all set. Okay, so this one goes with this page, so we're not gonna do anything here. Now let's use some washi. And I feel like I'm just gonna use this big thick washi right here. And then do the same on the other side. Okay. There we go. And now for these two pages, I'm going to do my monthly, quarterly, and yearly tasks, which also go in line with what planning Annie had and then meds and vitamins that I take. This is helpful because I do bring my planner to the doctor and stuff when I go out. And um, it's a good thing to have when uh, they ask you for like the meds and vitamins list if you're new to a provider or etc. So let's do this. And I think for this for these three I'm gonna use some washi here that like kind of coordinates so I think what I'm gonna do is use these pink ones here and these ones are gonna probably fit really nicely almost okay so we have quarterly we have um, how many things four things Monthly we have quite a few, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then yearly we only have one, so. I'm just gonna go down a few lines here because I think that'll be enough space for the quarterly ones. So I can always double them up. I probably should have put hmm, monthly first and then quarterly, right? Yeah smarter idea okay and then the last one will be the yearly and then this washi is like extra thin maybe I'll use the the roses since it's like the same thickness and now you guys know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move this one down there we go and then I think I had it about it's gonna be so pretty you guys when it's all done I'm so excited okay so here we're gonna do monthly quarterly and yearly perfect and I don't think I necessarily need these but they just look so I mean I've done them for all the other ones so I feel like I should just use them 
right? So monthly we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine things. So then this is going to be basically my hope for this is that, you know, at the end of every month I will come here and like, um, mark down, like put, put things in my planner for the following month, either that or check this on a semi week, you know, semi regular basis and just kind of like, you know, make a plan for these items and actually schedule them out. Cause that's the, the key thing here is actually scheduling them out and putting a time and a place for these plans, that, these things that we want to get done. All right, this guy wants to come. So we're just going to pull that guy. There we go. And these are not in any particular order. These are just the order that um, they came in my head. So we're just going to follow that. Birthdays, school events, appointments, Manicure question whoops, I messed on that one. I'm gonna put manicure question mark because this is not gonna happen every month, but I would like it to. Alright, and then monthly setup, time off, any time off that I need to request, charge our ring doorbell. And then the groomer, which is really six to eight weeks. But I didn't, it didn't necessarily fit in the quarterly one, so that's why I put it into the monthly. Okay, then we have our quarterly ones, and let's find a pretty color for matching here. I feel like a blue would match really pretty because of the, there's so many fuzzies down here. Goodness gracious. All right, so I feel like this blue is gonna match really nice. And hopefully you guys don't mind coming with me along on, along with me on this journey. I know it might, Probably take a while but you know let's be real all my videos take a while so you either are here for the whole content or you're not and that's okay with me either way you want to do it okay so then here we have hair appointment and these are just things that like I might not want to forget um, dental visits because I do go four times a year pedicure question mark and change air filter because we use the ones that last for like three months, three months, and it has like a sensor on there. They're so they're so cool, from 3M. Okay, and then the yearly ones. I really only have um, wellness visits and wellness visits and uh, like reoccurring payments. Because I couldn't think of anything else. So if you guys have any more ideas for the, the yearly one, let me know. Because I know I'm missing things. So, wellness. Oh, I should put eye exams here too. And then, what was the other yearly thing? Oh, um, car registration. Okay, and then that's everything for the monthly, quarterly, and yearly tasks. So, I'm so excited, you guys. This, this is going to be so functional for me, and it's going to be great. Okay. So along with these, this car registration, there's one more thing I forgot to put on the, on this other page over here. I wanted to add in here things that are coming up. So this is gonna be July, August, September, October, November, December. Um, so let me find, I don't know if they're in this book or not, but let me find my, like some script stickers that have the months on them. I definitely do not want to be writing out the months because my handwriting sometimes is not that amazing. Oh, they might not be in this one. Nope. Darn it. Okay. Didn't want to have to bring out this behemoth, but apparently we need to bring out this behemoth of a planner. Of a planner, uh, thing here and that's all right we'll just go quickly through this okay here we go we have some there we have some here I don't have July there though anymore so I have some here those do those match the color is there gold in there I don't know hmm 
Let's just use these basic black ones that I have from Elisa Ravel stickers. It's a nice basic font and I like it. Okay, so what did I say, July? August. September might be a little bit big. I might have to just cut it off there. Same with November. Okay, darn those long months, because that would have been so pretty. Okay, so we got all those down. And then down here, I just wanted to mark down um, with the vehicles when um, their registration is due. So Bailey's Sonata is here. Chris's Pathfinder is here. That is not very cute. Okay, and then mine is February, which is not on here. So there we go. All right, let's go back to the back and finish up the meds and vitamins tab, and then we will be good to go, friends. Okay, so here we're just gonna write down meds and vitamins. And I'm gonna use this like thin, really thin pink washi right here. Okay, I'm gonna fold this one over because I think it might be a little bit easier. And then this one I'm not gonna put in the little boxes. I don't think that's necessary for this one. But you guys, this is really great and I'm super thankful that you guys are along with me on this journey. Okay, so I'm just gonna write down all my meds and my vitamins and I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. You guys, this has been such a great setup and thank you guys so much for coming along. We have the meds and vitamins, monthly, quarterly, yearly, tracking. We have registration and stuff like that. Days off of school, when I'm closed, dance competitions, things like that. And then of course, continued over here. We have daily and weekly tasks, plus AM and PM routine. And then also my beautiful name. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I hope it gave you some ideas for your planner note pages. Thank you to Planning Annie for giving me the inspiration for a few of mine. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and I can't wait to plan with you guys next week. Bye, guys.